Well, Sartori is an American photographer and founder of the National Geographic Photo Arc. It's his personal mission to document every species in captivity around the world. It's a journey he started back in 2006. His book is called Photo Arc Wonders, celebrating diversity in the animal kingdom. And he joins us live this morning. Good morning. Hi, guys. How are you? We are doing great. We appreciate you joining us. So when you say every species, are you talking about every single insect, every single fish? Yes, I am. <laughs> Unfortunately, all around the world, the ones that are in captivity in zoos, aquariums, uh, private breeders, and at rehab centers, wildlife rehab centers. Now so that's about 20 to 24,000, we think, total, and we're at 13,000 plus today. Now, this is just so fascinating because a lot of people have problems with animals in captivity. Do you find you get a different look at them? And what, what does your photography do that other photographers can't when the wildlife is out in the open? Sure, those are good questions. And I did 17 or 18 years all in the wild for Geographic, about 30 stories for the magazine. And then 16 years ago, uh, decided to just work with animals that were in controlled situations. Uh, nobody likes a bad zoo, but at good zoos where there's abundant attention and care where I work, uh, the animals, a lot of them aren't in the wild anymore. They don't exist in the wild. Zoos have these basically continuing populations of them to restock the wild someday and are working as conservation centers now. The zoos of today are not simple menageries. They really are active in conservation and education. And so, uh, yeah, the goal is to is to celebrate their species, to celebrate people that are trying to save them and save habitats. It, That's really what we're all about. It looks like you have them in a photo studio. Like, <laughs> is that what you you're we doing? Do. We literally do. We have different size cloth shooting tents for the smaller animals for something like a Florida panther that you've just seen. Uh, that's That requires some effort on the zoo's part to basically paint and off exhibit space white or black. And um, yeah, so we work all over the world. I was in the, at the Prague Zoo on Friday. Before that, I was at a zoo in Bruno, Czechia. Yeah. And before that, I was in Croatia. So I've just returned from Europe. And um, we, we just try to really showcase that these animals are amazing and really worthy of our attention and, and our care, our stewardship. Do you, do you find that you are usually welcome in these zoos? Have you come across any resistance saying, no, we don't want you to shoot our animals? No, no. I mean, we, we reach out to these zoos months in advance. The vast majority know the program. We share all the pictures free of charge with the zoo. We're fully grant funded by National Geographic. They can use the pictures as they need to. And they know that we'll do a good job giving them lift as well. Geographic and Disney now have more than 220 million followers just on Instagram alone. So that's a real chance to give lift to these zoos and their species. And, and we go where we're wanted. We go where we're asked. And that's the majority of the world's zoos now, thankfully. And uh, we work with them months and months in advance to develop a list of species that they think would be okay with the shooting process. And, and off we go. Wow, pretty amazing video, amazing pictures. Thank you so much for joining us, Joel. The book is Photo Arc Wonders. You can check out natgeo.org. And Joel is on social media and uh, pretty cool stuff. Thanks, Joel. Thank you, Joel. Thank you.